Bro, if Booker knocks down this free throw, he has 50. 50 points. Please knock this free throw down, Book. This and one. So Booker's at 49. This is for 50. 50 point game for the 20 year old Devin Booker. Bro, Booker has 59 points. This is for 60. Throw it down. I call the foul. 61. 60 fucking one, Brian. Fucking 61. Bro, Booker just dropped 61 points. What the hell? He's 20 years old. How do you do this? No way. Please tell me they counted this shot. What is going on right now? Brian, look at this shit, guys. Look at this. Watch. Please. No, I ran out of time on my Snapchat, but it went in. For 65. Oh my goodness. 65 points. I love you. Not you. Not you. That's 67. Booker's going for 68 points. This is crazy. For 68 and... 60. Bro, Booker's going for 70. Take it. For 70. Yes! He needs to make these two free throws. Shout out Jay Crowder for the dumbass foul. Oh my gosh. He has 69. This one's for 70. For 70. Yes! 70. Oh my god. This kid is crazy. 70 points. Brian, 70. Brian, 70. Bro, what? What? He really did that. He really did that. Oh my god. Not 10. Not 20. Not 30. Not 40. 50. 60. But 70 points. Oh my god. Bro. He really did that. I can't. I don't know what to say. I really just don't know what to say. So, um. As you guys may have heard, because it was trending, obviously, all over Twitter. And for once, for once, the Suns were actually on ESPN. It took one of our boys to drop 70 points for ESPN to finally talk about the Phoenix Suns. But anyways, so that's my point. A lot of people might have heard about this because it was pretty much everywhere you look, people were talking about it. Devin Booker, my guy, 70 points in a single game. Only five other players in NBA history had done that before. Five other players. And you guys might know one of them because um, <clears throat> he's pretty good at basketball. His name is Kobe Bean Bryant. Okay? Devin Booker became the sixth player in NBA history. Just think about how long the NBA has been a thing. Sixth player in NBA history to drop at least 70 points in one game. The difference is, though... Those guys did it in the prime of their careers. Those guys did it after being in the league for years and years and years and, you know, knowing how everybody plays and adjusting to the NBA life. Devin Booker did this shit in his second season. He's 20 years old. 20. I'm 21. I'm older than Devin Booker. Devin Booker is my brother's age. For all of you guys that know Faze Rug, Devin Booker is his age. They're one month apart. And he went out there. He hasn't even played two full seasons in the NBA. Not even two full seasons. This is that this is his second season. And he dropped 70 on the road against one of the best teams in the NBA. Yes, Boston, Celtic fans. You guys are second place in the East. You guys are one of the best teams in the NBA. So Devin Booker did not do this against some sorry ass team. He didn't do it against some shitty lottery team. Which would have been crazy enough. Even if you dropped 70 on a, on a shitty team. That's crazy enough. But he did this on one of the best teams in the league. And one of the best defensive teams in the league. Wow. I don't... What can you say? So, I mean... 20 years old. This kid couldn't even go out after the game and legally buy a drink. Because he's not old enough. That's how young he is. And he dropped 70 points in a single game. A lot of people were asking me to upload a video yesterday on it after the game. I couldn't. I, I was speechless. Even right now, it's hard for me to come up with words to talk about. Look, there's nothing in front of me. There's, app, there's no laptop. There's no papers. No nothing. I'm speaking about this from just... I'm just speaking. I'm speaking out of my mouth. I don't... I'm still speechless, okay? So, wow. 
on the road, not even at home, and just listen, guys. <laughs> I can never ever find the right words, and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl, so I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only say that it feels right. 70 points. He shot over 50% from the field. He grabbed eight rebounds. He didn't ball hog either. He had six assists. He was passing the ball around two. He shot 24 for 26 from the free throw line. He only missed two free throws. Guess how many points he had at halftime? He didn't even have 20 points at the half. He had 19 points at halftime. And then he scored 51 points in the second half. Look, I, there were some people hating on D-Book last night after the game. You guys sound so stupid, okay? Let me just say that. Let's say Booker scores 20 and you hate on him. Fine. Let's say he scores 30 and you hate on him. That's stupid, but whatever. Fine. But the kid scored 70 points. This has only been done a couple times before in NBA history. And people were hating on him. Let me see. What can you hate on him for? Oh, he shot inefficiently. No, he didn't. He shot almost 55% from the field. He scored 70 points and shot over 50% from the field. That doesn't happen too often. Oh, he ball hogged. He didn't pass. False. Wrong. Eh. Nope. He did not. As a matter of fact, he had six assists for a shooting guard. Not, he's, he's not even a point guard and he dished out six assists. That's actually above his season average. So, in a game where he scored 70 points, he surpassed his season average in, pass, in, in assists. He was passing the ball around. Six assists in a 70-point game. Oh, he wasn't playing defense. Wrong. He had three steals, too. That also passed his season average. It was a good game. Oh, and then you could look at, oh, but he lost the game. Well, yes, the Boston Celtics are a much better team than the Phoenix Suns. There's a reason Boston is second in the East and the Suns are second to last in the West. Yeah, he lost the game. Boston is a better team. No, I doubt anybody picked the Phoenix Suns who have lost six in a row, now seven, but who have lost six in a row to walk into Boston and win that game. I doubt anybody picked them to win. M mind you, the Phoenix Suns are tanking. They are losing on purpose. There's a reason Eric Bledsoe and Tyson Chandler do not even play. There's a reason they're resting because the Suns want to lose. They're trying to get a higher pick. So, yes, the Phoenix Suns lost the game because they played a much better team. Boston is a better team than the Suns, for those who don't know that. But at the end of the day, let's say Devin Booker lost the game because, yeah, the Phoenix Suns lost. In two years, in five years, in ten years... Tomorrow, what are people going to remember more? The Boston Celtics won some regular season game or Devin Booker scored 70 points. So yeah, he lost the game. But which is more memorable? What are people talking about more? That the Celtics won a regular season game or that Booker dropped 70 points? I, if you're hating on that game by Devin Booker, you just sound so fucking stupid. And you can't even make a case for that. You can't make a case that he ball hogged because he passed the season average in assists. You can't make the case that he shot inefficiently because he shot over 50%. He played D. The Phoenix Suns lost because our team is not good. That's no surprise. There's a reason we are where we are in the standings because we suck, honestly. To get more into Devin Booker's game... <sighs> No player under the age of 21 had ever scored more than 56 points in a game. Ever. LeBron James scored 56 one time when he was under the age of 21. And that was a record that was never supposed to be broken. Never. A kid under 21 years old that's going to score more than 56 points in a game? Yeah, right. That's, I would have bet money that that would never, ever happen. Even if I thought Booker would score over 56 points in a game... I would think he would do that in the prime of his career when he's 25, 26, 20. And not only did he beat that record, not only did he score 57 or 58 and he barely beat it, he trumped it. He scored 70. It just, I mean, obviously, I'm not saying he's a better player than LeBron James. I'm not saying he's a better player than Michael Jordan. I'm not saying he's a better player than Carmelo or any of those guys because he's not. Right now, Devin Booker is not better than LeBron James. He's obviously not better than Michael Jordan. I'm not saying that. But... 
Devin Booker at the age of 20 has a higher career high than Michael Jordan, has a higher career high than LeBron James. It just, I don't know. It's, it's crazy to think what this guy is going to be when he turns 24, when he turns 25. Because for all you people that don't really watch basketball, that don't keep up with basketball that much, let me fill you in. Players don't get their best years until they hit that age of, you know, 24, 25, 26. Devin Booker is 20. 2-0, 20. He still has years and years and years of learning and, you know, these... Just, you know, not even supposed to be good. And he's doing this at age 20. I'm honestly, I'm sorry, but you can't make a prediction on how good this kid is going to be. You can't. If he's doing this at age 20, what will he be doing in the prime of his career? I don't know. I really don't. It really is when people say the sky's the limit. That's what it is. 70. Do you know how hard that is to do? Kobe Bryant, who is a great player, he's a phenomenal player, phenomenal winner, superb work ethic, one of the best players to ever play the game, he only passed 70 one time. Michael Jordan, the real GOAT, the greatest to ever step foot on a basketball court. He never even scored Booker, 70. Booker, I Bryant, love you! I love you, so Booker! Bad. 70 points. I know. I He's called, a 20 year old. Brian didn't believe me. I said, Brian! No, I swear I didn't believe him at all when I was downstairs. I said, know? He's going for 60. And Brian said, Shut up. Yeah, I said, He's I'm going like, for 60. Okay, there's no way. He yeah. was in this very home. He was in this room. I wasn't even home when he came home. Bro, what was he doing? Like, just like putting up threes and they were all going in. Even that fucking crazy Yeah, that they didn't count. He should have had 73. Honestly, but they, to the people who were saying, Oh, but they still lost. What the fuck? Brian, who cares? What the hell? Brian, you know He's what I just said? He's a 20-year-old no. who scored 70 points. Look, who cares How about this? Lost? How about this? So the game's over, right? What are people talking about? The Celtics won a regular season game or Devin Obviously. Booker scored 70? I mean, the whole internet exploded. Exactly. And people were saying, oh, he still took the L. Okay, first off, the Suns are trying to lose on purpose. Exactly. So... And the Celtics are the better team. They were... I don't know as much basketball as Brandon, but I'm just saying, I'm stating the obvious. Like... I can't believe people said like, oh, he, they still lost. That's 70 points for a 20-year-old. Exactly. Nobody has ever done that. No one. The As highest 20-year-old. LeBron right? was 21 and he scored 56 and that was the record. And I thought that would never be broken. And this is the most since 06. Yeah, Kobe's the most in over 10 years. Points. That's crazy. Okay, I just have to come in here. Devin Booker is the GOAT. I'm just saying. The that's, GOAT. That's actually ridiculous. Guys, and you know what's funny? Devin Booker tweeted a couple years ago. He tweeted. He said, will Kobe Bryant's 81-point game ever be touched? And he said no. He, he didn't think anybody could ever come near 81 points. And here he was, 11 points away. That's just insane. So, I don't know what more there is to say. For someone who's 20 years old, he has gotten hyped up by LeBron James. LeBron said last year, he said, if I had to pick one player who I think is going to be, you know, the next star of this league, he could have picked Carl Anthony Towns. He could have picked uh, Porzingis. He could have picked Giannis Antetokounmpo. He said Devin Booker, and me, I'm not going to lie, I'm a Suns fan, I'm a Devin Booker fan, but I was like, really, LeBron? Out of everybody in the league, there's almost 500 players, and you pick Devin Booker? That's crazy. Now I know what he was talking about. I guess LeBron knows more basketball than me. Kobe Bryant, exactly one year ago, exactly one year ago, yesterday was the one-year anniversary where, where Kobe Bryant took off his shoes, signed them, and wrote, be legendary, and gave his shoes to Devin Booker. One year from that day, exactly one year later, Devin Booker dropped 70. Kobe Bryant himself went on Twitter after and tweeted, book him, 70. Dwayne Wade, last year, he took a picture with Justice Winslow, who is his very own teammate, and he took a picture with Devin Booker, and he said Devin Booker was his favorite rookie out of that draft class. And I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, bro, Devin Booker's 20 years old. He's only played a couple games in this league. No, no, actually, at the time when Booker was getting all this hype, he was only 19. So, so Booker was 19. He was getting all this hype from NBA legends, Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. I wonder to myself, I'm like, 19 years old. How is he going to react? Is he going to let the pressure get to him and, you know, kind of like be like, oh, shit, I'm getting this much hype from all these big names, you know, and just nervous and let the pressure crack him down and just his career burst? Or was he going to say, you know what? I'm that good. 
I'm 19 years old and all these big name players are talking to me. They're, they're talking about me. And he's going to elevate his game to the next level. I didn't know what was going to happen because when you're 19 years old, your brain isn't even fully developed. You're a little kid. 19 years old is a kid. And look what he did. Look what he did. He could have easily, easily let that pressure get to him. He could have easily been like, oh shit, LeBron, Kobe, this is, so, this is too much. I can't do it. But no, he is built different. Devin Booker is built differently. So many players were tweeting to him last night. So many. They were in shock. Like Brian said, this hasn't been done in almost 12 years. And even when it was done a long time ago, it was done by players in the middle of their career. It was done by players in their prime. This was done by a 20-year-old. He just finished being a teenager. Not even a year ago. Not even a year ago, he was a teen. Hey, honestly... And look at, look, you know what I just said? I said Devin Booker is built differently. Look at what I mean. Someone scores 70 points, right? And he's getting interviewed after a game. He would be all smiles and, yeah, I, I scored 70. Yes, you know, that was cool. You know what Booker said? Booker got interviewed. They asked him about his 70-point game. You know what he said? He said, I was just trying to win. I, I kept looking at the score. We cut it to 10. We couldn't get over the hump. And the reporters looked at him like, uh... You just fucking scored 70 points. Hello. And he's just like, I was trying to win the game. He didn't say anything about his points. Oh, Jalen Brown, Boston Celtics rookie. He went up to Booker after the game and he congratulated him. And you know what Booker told him? Booker said, why are you congratulating me? You're the one on a winning team. Like, like this kid is different. Imagine if anyone else, any other like, you know, rookie or second year player dropped 70. They would be going crazy. And Booker is sitting there and all he cared about was that he lost the game. That's the mentality that makes you great. That's the mentality that makes you think Devin Booker is different. He is not oh, just one of those other decent players, one of those good players. He's different. As if his performance doesn't tell you that he's different, why don't you look at his mindset, the way he thinks about the game. A couple weeks ago, the Phoenix Suns lost the game to the Sacramento Kings. You know what Booker did instead of going home after that loss? He went back to the Phoenix Suns practice facility and he practiced on his own. After the game, late night. This is a tanking team. The Suns are losing on purpose. They're trying to get a higher pick and Booker is still trying to win. And he gets pissed about losing. What he told me when he came here, he's sitting right here. I said, you know, what moves you think the Suns got to make? You know, I know you're a good player, but you need some help. He said, honestly, I'm just trying to win. He said, I just want to win. He said he loves winning. That's what he told me. I talked to him last night. I said, Book, please tell me what you ate that whole day because I'm trying to drop 70 in my league game. He was just laughing. But that was just insane. So, look, you could you could sit here and be like, oh, he's, Brandon is a Suns fan. Obviously, he could be saying all this. Look at him wearing his Phoenix Suns jersey with his Phoenix Suns painted walls. But let me tell you this. I give props where, where props is due. Carl Anthony Towns, one of the best players from that draft class. Matter of fact, he's probably better than Devin Booker. Honestly, Carl Anthony Towns is probably better than Devin Booker. Miles Turner, super good future. Porzingis, he's going to be one of the best players in the league one day. Even D'Lo, D'Angelo Russell, he has a bright future too. So when I'm giving props to Devin Booker, it's because I see something. I'm not being biased. I give props where props is due. Devin Booker is going to be special. He's going to be one of a kind, and there's no limit to what he could be. A lot of players have NBA comparisons. Oh, that guy reminds me of this guy. That guy reminds me of, you know, a younger Dwayne Wade. Booker has no comparison. He's going to be his own player. He's going to be someone that other players compare themselves to. And it's just crazy that the Suns took him 13th in the draft. He wasn't the number one pick. He wasn't top three. He wasn't top five. He wasn't even top ten. It's insane. 70. That's crazy. Look, when Devin Booker started the fourth quarter, look, let me tell you a little, look, let me tell you something a little funny. When Devin Booker started the fourth quarter, he had 42 points. And, you know, I'm watching the game. That was his career high because his career high before that was 39. So when he had 42, he already broke his career high. And there were people tweeting me. They were saying, they're like, OMG, 
Booker has 42. Do you think he could get to 50? I think Booker's going to score 50 tonight. And let me tell you guys, no one's going to believe me, but I tweeted it. I was thinking to myself, Booker has 42, okay? If he drops 50, that would be crazy. But I sat there and I thought about it. I told myself, I said, Booker has scored over 20 points in a quarter before. I said Booker has scored 28 and a quarter one time before. Booker could get to 60 or 70. That's what I told myself. I didn't tweet it because I thought it would sound ridiculous. But when people were telling me, oh my God, Booker's eight points away from 50. Do you think he's going to get it? In my head, I'm like 50. I've watched every single game of this kid's Phoenix Suns career. I've seen him score 20 and a quarter. I've seen him score 28 and a quarter. So I said, fuck it. I don't care what people think. I'm going to tweet it. So I tweeted. I said, Booker wants 60 and he gets what he wants. Look, for those that don't believe me, Booker wants 60 and he gets what he wants. So I tweeted that and, you know, some people were calling me crazy. He fucking got to 70. 70. I had to, I had called him last night. I was like, bro, what? And he was just laughing. He was like, oh my God. I was like, bro, I know. I don't know what to say. And it was just, he's a winner. He's the definition of hard work pays off. He's in the gym before the team has to practice. He also stays in the gym after the practice is over. He's the first one on the courts. Bro, I'm, I don't know what to say. If I keep talking about this, it's just going to be repeated words because I don't know what to say. So to end this video, I declare March 24th from now on is National Devin Armani Booker Day. There's no school, no work, no nothing. From March to every March 24th for the rest of our lives, no school, no work. We're just going to play that game from yesterday. By the way, I watched that shit like three times. I had it recorded. I watched it like three times over and over. Devin Booker is something special. For those who think I'm just saying it because I'm a Suns fan, that's false. I give props where props is due. Like I said, Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell, Porzingis, you know, all of them. They got really, really bright futures. But Devin Booker, he's just, he's built differently. I don't know if it's the way he thinks about the game or his work ethic. But if you just watch the games, you could see the way he plays is something special. But then if you crack it more down and you look at how he's always in the gym and the way he thinks about the games, it just tells you, yo, I better keep an eye on this kid because he's something special. So he's broken a bunch of LeBron James' records. He's broken a bunch of Kobe Bryant's records. He's even broken some of Michael Jordan's records. He's only 20 years old. And... I was crazy last night. I witnessed history with my own eyes on TV. We witnessed history. Everybody who watched the game witnessed history. Devin Booker was at the Garden having people chant his name. These are Celtic fans. Celtics take pride in their team. They love their team. And even they were cheering Booker on. When Booker scored 70, the whole Garden erupted. A 20-year-old had the power... To have everybody in the opposing arena cheer for him. I'm willing to bet $10 million that we will never ever see a 20 year old kid drop 70 points in a game ever again. This, this is just some type of stuff that just doesn't happen regularly. We witnessed history. I wish I had it on record like my full reaction not just my snapchat story. But I had left my chip. My memory card, I left it in my laptop. And my laptop was at my cousin's house because my Wi-Fi wasn't working. So I went to my cousin's house to upload yesterday's video. I forgot it there. So when I came home, I was trying to record my reaction and it kept saying no memory card. And I'm like, shit. So I just decided to do it with my Snapchat. I could have used Brian's memory card, but it was in the heat of the moment. I couldn't think. I was watching Booker. My Snapchat started with... He's at 49, he's gonna get to 50, then it went to 60, then it went to 70, and I was just going wild. It was one of the craziest things I've ever seen, and I watched Kobe's 81 point game. That's that Kobe's 81 point game probably is the craziest thing I've ever watched, but this 70 point game, to me, 
is crazier only because I'm a Suns fan. I've watched every game that Devin Booker has played. So to me, just watching the growth, I've seen him score like four or five points in a game and have a really bad game. All the way to seeing him score 70 in a game is insane. I don't know what to say. By the way, you heard me mention a lot of Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James in this video. I am in no way saying that right now at 20 years old, Devin Booker is better than any of those three players. He's not. I am on record saying he is not better than Kobe, he's not better than LeBron James, and he is not better than Michael Jordan. So before anyone says, stop comparing him to MJ, stop comparing him to LeBron or Kobe, that is not what I'm doing. I'm simply stating facts that he has surpassed those boys in certain records and that in his prime, in the future, who knows how good he will be. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I apologize I couldn't get the reaction like full on camera and said you just got my Snapchat story. But wow, one of the cra craziest performances I've ever watched on the road at age 20. I can't believe this guy is my homie. I can't believe right now I could call him and talk to him. I can't believe he's been to my house. It's just crazy. I don't know. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And let me know what you guys think about this 70-point game. By the way, my phone after Booker dropped 70 was blowing up because of you guys. It's like I dropped 70 myself. I love how whenever something happens with the Phoenix Suns, you guys automatically think about me. I mean, I don't know why. I wouldn't have, you know, not that I'm a big Suns fan or anything, but, uh. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It was just crazy. The second Booker hit 70 points, my phone was blowing up. It was like, like imagine if I went to go play my league game and I scored 70, I wouldn't even get this much love. That's how much I love the Phoenix Suns. That's how much you guys know it. So thank you guys for that. And thank you so much for watching this video, Broad Squad.